Do you want to know how to use the Bushman Monopod Pro bundle? Let me help you with this. I will explain to you what is included and how to use it for your 360 shoots. My name is Gerald Blondie. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Let's go through what is included in the bundle. The Monopod Pro, the Tripod Pro, the Counterweight Pro, everything Pro. The extra accessories in the bundle include the monkey clamp with a quarter inch thread on the side, the ground spike for shooting in soil or in sand, the quarter inch spacer, three magnetic Popeyes with their dedicated pockets with one extra for other accessories. In the front of the bag, you have an extra pocket for your 360 camera if you do want to place it here and carry a single bag, which makes it much more convenient. The Monopod Pro comes from the natural evolution from our very good Monopod V2. After using the Monopod V2 for many years, I found that there are some essential functions that are missing for the professional user. First function is when you're using the Monopod over and over again, when you open and close, and you close the Monopod on your fingers, you pinch yourself. This is why I decided to integrate some very simple rubber rings, so when you close, at least it limits the pinching of your fingers. That's the first part. Another essential feature is I have added on the top, on the quarter inch male thread, when you twist in your camera, when you tighten your camera on it, there's a small O-ring that helps you have a better contact and fix your camera on the quarter inch thread. For example, if you're on horseback riding and you have the monopod out, your camera's on it, shaking or on the bike, the camera doesn't have as much chances of unscrewing itself. And the third part, I would say is the most important on a Monopod Pro is the side mounting, the possibility of the side mounting. Very often you're out in the field and you don't have the right accessories, but with the Monopod Pro, at least you have the option if you want to put it, for example, on a flat metal surface, you have two side mounting points on a car or on a fence on different parts. These parts are flash. One part is fixed put a monkey clamp or a Popeye mag magnetic base and on the other one you can rotate it because your surface might not be flat. So you have one in this direction and one with a different angle maybe of 10 degrees. This mounting can be adjusted and rotated to fit your needs. Obviously it comes with a quarter inch female thread for the natural way of using the monopod which is the vertical way. Now moving on to the Tripod Pro. For me, this is a little piece of magic. It is an essential element in the combo. There's so many features on this tripod for 360 that I'm sure you'll find yours, the one that you prefer. Obviously, quarter inch male thread on the top and anti-slip ring to help the contact between whatever you're mounting above. Second part is the clicking buttons. Two positions for each leg. Each leg is independent and you can do what you want with it in different positions. Let's open the tripod at the flattest position. This increases the diameter and increases the stability of the monopod mounted on top. Each leg has rubber foot with a quarter inch thread. This giving you the option, possibility of mounting on each foot a magnetic Popeye. So when you mount it on a metal surface, all magnetic Popeyes are absolutely flat with your metal surface. So my idea is if you mount it on a car, you have maximum of pull force of 42 kilos for each Popeye. That's a lot of kilos. Third feature is all the mounting points on the tripod. So let's go through them. There are seven of them. As mentioned on each foot, one, two, three. On each side of the tripod, if you want to add extra counterweights, a microphone, extra battery, or mounting any other accessory on the tripod, you can. Four, five, six, and the most important is underneath the tripod. You can add extra weight, counterweight, underneath the tripod and increase the stability of your bundle. You mount the monopod, 
and you increase the stability. Let's talk about the counterweight. The counterweight pro is matte black stainless steel. This is 500 grams, one anti-slip o-ring on the top and one on the bottom. When assembling the two parts, it helps keep these parts securely fastened. Note that the two diameters of the bottom part and the top part never have the same diameter, so this increases the surface and contact. The counterweight has four mounting points on the bottom. The obvious one is in the center, which is the vertical position. Then you have three others that you can choose from. The 10 degree, the 25 degree, and 45 degree. There's an extra one where you have a cut for the passage of a cable. If you're doing live streaming or if you're powering up your camera with a cable, you can always help use the slot to secure a cable or keep it in there and have it less visible when shooting downwards. Another accessory included is the monkey clamp. The monkey clamp has an opening of 40 millimeters. This is perfect accessory to help you mount your monopod. The monkey clamp could be used on the monopod as a second mounting point. You could have the monopod on the ground and use the monkey clamp to hold the monopod just here on the side and tighten to a rail, for example. Bushman Paramic is the only company that produces a monopod with two side mountings. So take advantage of it. As a professional, you want to secure your gear. There are three magnetic Popeyes in the bundle. They are 90 millimeters in diameter or 3.5 inches. There is a male quarter inch thread on the top and they are rubber coated. So rubber coated is good if you want to put it on a car and do not want to scratch the surface of the paint. If you do have a special car and you do want to protect it even more, then do put a fabric between the magnetic base and the car. This will help you protect the paint. The pull force is 42 kilos, so this is very powerful. If you do use them together, be careful not to have your fingers between the two base. This will be very painful if you do have your fingers right there. To be able to separate them, there's so much force that you will not be able to just pull on them. Use, for example, the counterweight on one side, the monopod on the other. This will give you a better leverage to separate them. Here. There we go. Be careful when you use them. In some cases, you want to avoid using the tripod to not have the tripod in the nadir shot when shooting downwards. So, you do have the option with the ground spike. It screws right into the ground. You could use it in sand, you could use it in the soil, ice, or even a crack in the tree if you wanted to mount your monopod. It has a thread and can screw in and screw out. In the case your ground spike is stuck in the ground, I did design it with an extra hole on the top so you could loosen it with an allen wrench or a screwdriver and just twist it, it'll loosen it. On the top of the ground spike there are two threads, a quarter inch and a three eighth thread. So they are compatible with any other camera equipment. If you did want to put a bit of space between your camera and your mounting point, you could add the quarter inch spacer. For example, you could put it on the ground spike and add a little bit of distance between the ground spike and the camera. This would allow you too to access the plugs under your camera. The quarter inch spacer is quite useful. I did talk about it in our previous video using our halo light. You can find the link above or in the description below. That's it guys. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.